All right, guys, so I still get a lot of questions as far as the air gap uh, on your hydraulic release bearing or on your throw out bearing. Uh, so what I'm gonna show you here is the easiest way to do it. So what you wanna do is you wanna install the clutch, uh, get it all torqued down to the proper specs so that the fingers are at their uh, location, their final resting spot. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a straight edge and lay it up across the back of the bell housing like this. And then you're just gonna take your micrometer and you're gonna measure from the tip of the fingers out to the edge of the straight edge. And in this case here, I already had this set up, but it's 80 millimeters. So now that we have the 80 millimeters, write that number down, and then we're gonna to go to the next step. So the second measurement that we're gonna take is basically from the face of the bearing back to the face of the transmission. And why we wanna do that is if you think about it, that measurement that we took up on the car, that is from the face here where it's gonna to mount to the uh, bell housing out to the fingers. So that's our measurement to the actual fingers. So really what we want is the bearing to be sitting back from this about four to five millimeters. So in this case, um, I wanna measure off the face back to the face of the transmission and I wanna be about 75 and a half millimeters. Uh, anywhere from uh, 75 to 76 is within tolerance. Uh, you wanna be about three sixteenths of an inch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick my straight edge here uh, on the face of the bearing and then I'm gonna set my uh, tool up and I'm gonna set it up to where I wanna be which is about 76 and I'm just gonna go ahead and measure off the face here and as you can see I'm pretty much spot on and I'll just check both sides just to be 100% sure that we're straight and level and we are so that's it now the other thing to mention here is you always wanna have you always wanna have your feed line on the bottom and your bleed line coming out the top. And that's important because you want um, the air to come in and get blown out the top. If you have uh, the, the feed on the bottom, or the feed on the top, you'll get air stuck in there. So you wanna have the, the bleeder coming out the top. So uh, six feed, 12 bleed.